Please activate the subtitles. Oh, I've just woken up. It's it's 3 a.m. It's 3 in the morning and I have to go to work. Today I need to drive a lot. I need to drive to another city and be at work at 5 a.m. So, yes, I need to go. <laughs> Twenty minutes later. Wow, I'm really late now. I can't believe it. I overslept, you know. I was so ready to leave home at the right time, but I should have left home 30 minutes ago. I didn't even have time to have breakfast or a shower. I didn't have a shower. <laughs> I feel terribly dirty now because I always take a shower before going to work, and today I feel dirty. Oh my. Yeah. It's a very nice way to start a week. It's Monday, so good morning. I believe that this week I'll have to, you know, make more videos from the series Real Life English in which I'll just talk randomly, you know, at random about any topic that pops up in my head because I am not going to write any script before or anything. This is Real Life English. <laughs> yeah. I unfortunately I haven't had time to you know make a proper video you know filming my face with the camera or anything so I'll just <laughs> I'll just record my voice I'm extremely late right now oh man hopefully I will not get there late because I'm supposed to be at work at 5 I need to be in the office at 5 because I'm gonna have a conference call well, as I said, this is from the series of videos, Real Life English, and therefore I'm not going to hold myself back, I'm going to speak the same way I talk to my friends, and yeah, I'm not going to speak so fa fast today because I need to pay attention to traffic, you know, I'm going to a different company today, and I don't know how to get there, so I need to pay attention to traffic, to, to the GPS, but I don't have time to make a video at another moment, so I need to make a video on my way to work so <laughs> stay with me uh, I wish I could sleep a little bit more you know like five minutes more only five minutes more you know that would completely change my day you know when I don't sleep properly I feel bad the whole day you know I feel bad the whole day I wish I could sleep five minutes more but I can't yeah well I'll take this moment uh, as an opportunity to open myself to you in a good way of course <laughs> what I mean is uh, this channel this channel has become more than just a YouTube channel to me you know I don't even know how to begin telling you what this channel is now for me of course it's a YouTube channel but it's also a language school in which I'm a teacher and you are my students but it's also a way for me to communicate with you as a friend so for me it has become some sort of therapy Yes, you are my psychologists now. <laughs> yes, you're my psychologists and today I'll need you. Uh, so I want to talk to you about something that I've been thinking about recently. Actually, I started thinking about that yesterday because some weird things happened yesterday. And I'll tell you what happened. So without any further ado, let's get started. So yesterday was Sunday and I was in my girlfriend's house and we were talking and then she came up to me and asked me uh, Roger, what's the matter? And I was like, why are you asking me that? There's nothing wrong. She said that I was different, that I looked tired and that I was just complaining about work and about everything. And then I said that perhaps uh, that's the problem, you know, because I was really tired then I said I must be tired because I've been working a lot recently much more than I used to in the past and she said no Roger that's not the problem because even when you've got a lot of work to do we're always so enthusiastic and excited to do your job you're not used to complaining about these things but today you've been complaining all day and that's not you you are a very energetic and excited person you know and today I've just seen a very annoyed person complaining all the time about everything. So my question for you, Roger, is what's the matter? 
and I was thinking about my attitude that day, you know, yesterday, and I had to agree with her. I was just complaining too much about everything and about things that I didn't use to complain about before. For example, today I woke up at 3 to be at work at 5 a.m. And I feel so, so down, you know, I feel so sleepy. Uh, I don't feel motivated to go to work today and do my job, you know. I just wish I could stay home, could stay in bed all day, you know. <laughs> When I close my eyes now, I can actually imagine my bed. Oh, my soft and comfortable bed. I'll be there with you soon, and we'll be together, oh bed. <laughs> uh, I guess I should open my eyes because I'm driving now. Uh, but the thing is, I haven't felt motivated to do anything in the past two weeks. I just feel like going to sleep, and that's so weird. But anyway... I had that conversation with my girlfriend yesterday in the morning. Then in the afternoon I went to my friend's house because I'm teaching because I'm teaching him how to play the drums. Yes, I'm also a drummer. I used to play the drums in a in a heavy metal band a long time ago and I still play the drums for fun. And my friend is a British guy living in Brazil. He got married to a Brazilian woman and he's now living here and he wanted to start a band and I'm teaching him how to play the drums. When uh, he opened the door, he asked me, you know, instantly, Hey mate, what's the matter with you? <laughs> yeah, he, he, he's got a very strong accent, so he doesn't say meta, he says meta. So he asked me, Hey mate, what's the matter with you? And I said, Mate, there's nothing wrong with me, why are you asking me that? And he said, because you're always so playful and talkative and you're always, you know, joking around and, you know, cracking jokes all the time about anything. And you're always so enthusiastic and joyful. But today you're so silent and quiet. What's the matter? And again, I had to agree with him. You know, I was really down yesterday. And, and I'm driving and thinking about this. I've been very quiet and silent lately. And it's not normal, you know, I'm not a silent person. I'm very talkative. I don't know what's going on. I don't feel motivated. I just feel like going to bed. I wish I could sleep all day, as I told you, like three times only today, you know. But you are my friend, so I need to ask you, you know, for help. <laughs> what do you do when you feel confused about your own feelings about yourself, you know, when you don't know why you're feeling certain feelings, you know, what do you do? Well, I'll tell you what I normally do. When I'm confused, trying to find answers to my psychological problems, I always do the same thing. And from now on, from this part of the video on, you will actually think that I'm insane. But you are my subscribers, you are my students, you are my friends. And now you are my psychologist, so I'll tell you everything. When I feel confused, I listen to music. That's what I do. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> but I'm gonna have to tell you something from my past. It's gonna take a long time. I'm sorry, this video is not going to be very quick. Because I'm gonna tell you something that happened when I was a child. And that thing that happened when I was a child made me listen to music every time I feel some kind of problem, you know. When I'm troubled, I listen to music. And it's because of something that happened when I was a little boy. And I'm gonna tell you what happened. When I was a child, I was listening to The Doors. If you are very young, you might not know you might not know this band but it was an amazing band and Jim Morrison the vocalist sang music is your only friend until the end And I can't forget that, you know, I was five years old and I remember pausing the song when he sang that. And it got me thinking, music is my only friend until the end. And this sentence means so much to me, you know. I remember that when I was a child, I had some good friends and I thought I would be with them forever. But then I lost contact with them, with almost every one of them. Then when I was a teenager... I had other friends and we promised that we would be together forever. 
but today we just exchange messages on New Year's Eve to say Happy New Year, you know. We don't really talk. And then we never talk again throughout the year. You know, friends come and go, but music is always there. At least for me, you know. And now you're gonna think I'm crazy, <laughs> but I don't know if it happens to you, but music literally talks to me. Yes, music talks to me. Seriously, it's some sort of magical force or something. When I'm sad, I turn on my MP3 player at random. I've got around 2,000 songs there. Every two months I change the songs, but I always have around 2,000 songs on my MP3 player. And I never pick the specific song that I want to listen to. I just play them at random and I let them talk to me. Yes, let me try to explain it in a better way. So when I'm sad, I listen to these songs at random and then really pay attention to the music and most importantly to the lyrics. And magically, I always end up listening to something that helps me out of my specific problem of the moment and I feel better. Sometimes it's a stupid thing, like the other day I wanted to buy a new cell phone. I don't know why I wanted to do that because my cell phone is working properly, so I didn't really need a new cell phone. I'll just do that by impulse. Coincidentally, I was listening to Elvis Presley and then when I was about to buy the cell phone online, Elvis sang. Wise men say only fools rush in. Yes, wise men say only fools rush in. And I was like, what Elvis? What did you say? He was singing that wise men say that only fools rush in. Fools, fools are stupid people, you know. And rush in means to do something without proper preparation, to do something by impose. So basically Elvis was saying that only stupid people do things by impose. Recklessly. Recklessly. And because of that, because of Elvis, I didn't buy the cell phone. So yeah, music really, literally talks to me, you know, in a magical way. <laughs> yeah, now you might think I'm crazy. Yeah, perhaps I am. I'm probably a wacko. Please don't judge me. <laughs> but it happens all the time with me, you know. I, I've got a problem, then I listen to music and magically a random song gives me great advice. Sometimes it's not the whole lyrics, but a specific part of it. And then it rings a bell in my brain and I know that music is talking to me, telling me what to do. I'll try to think of another example to give you. Oh, when I was 15 years old, I got a job as an office assistant. I basically needed to do anything and everything in, in the office. From making coffee to going to the bank to pay bills, you know, I did everything in the office. But the problem is that I had a very rude boss. And he was also racist because he used to call me Indian boy. But it, for me it was okay because, you know, I had some friends who had come from India and for me it wasn't a bad thing to be called Indian, you know. It wasn't offensive in my head. <clears throat> but I've got Brazilian blood. And I'm not Indian at all, you know. So now I understand that that guy was racist. And my boss was so rude to me, you know. So one day I made up my mind and I decided that, that I would quit that awful job. But I don't know why. I didn't have the courage to go to, to this old man and say that I wanted to quit. I was 15 years old and I was like, oh, how can I say that, you know, I want to quit, but I don't know how to do that. And then one day before going to work, I was listening to the Smiths, the Smiths, another great band. And I was listening to a song and the lyrics went like, in my life, why do I give valuable time to people who don't care if I live or die? Okay, uh, when I edit the video, I'm going to play this part for you. So listen to this.
and it got me thinking that I was giving my valuable time to a boss who didn't care if I lived or died. Then that song gave me the guts to go to my boss and say that day, the same day that I wanted to quit. And I did that. So music talks to me when I'm in trouble. Today, I don't feel motivated to go to work or to do anything. I don't feel motivated to study Italian. You know, I'm studying Italian. And I've always been very enthusiastic about learning a different language, you know. That's why nowadays I speak seven languages, because I've always loved it. But today I really just want to go to bed, you know. I don't feel motivated to study Italian. And for me, it, it's so different, you know. It's not me, you know. I don't feel myself. I haven't felt myself lately. <sighs> I need to go to work. Well, I'll listen to music all day and hopefully I'm going to find the solution to my problem. You know, I'm going to find some sort of conclusion to my questions, you know. I'm going to stop the video right now and I'll work all day and I'll give a conclusion to this video tonight when I get home. So, I'll see you here in around 12 hours. Approximately 10 hours later. You won't believe it. <laughs> you won't believe it. I was listening to random songs all day. You know, whenever I could, I would listen to music at work. And one of the random songs really gave me the solution to my problem. So I was listening to a song named Sad But True by Metallica. You know that I love metal, right? <laughs> so I was listening to Metallica and then I, and then I came across the song named Sad But True. And now I feel motivated again to study Italian, to work and to do my things enthusiastically. Yes, everything has changed. I can't play the whole song here for you guys because I want this video to be quick and for copyright reasons. So I really can't play the song for you. Maybe you know the song, maybe you don't. But I'll just read for you some parts of the song that changed my mood completely now altogether and brought my motivation back. But please, when you have some time, listen to the whole lyrics, you know. <laughs> it's a classic. So I'm going to read some parts for you that I'm going to highlight here for you to understand why I feel so motivated and energetic now about everything, about my life, you know. So listen, uh, so listen to this. The song goes like this. It's just some parts, okay. Hey, I'm your life. I'm the one who takes you there. Hey, I'm your life. I'm the one who cares. I'm your only true friend now. I'm forever there. I'm your dream. Make it real. Sad but true. Do, do my work. Do my duty. You are the one who's blamed. I'm the one who takes you there. I'm inside. Open your eyes. I'm you. Sad but true. I didn't read the whole lyrics because we don't have time and this video is probably already too long. But what I understand by these parts that I've just read for you, that I've highlighted here, is that basically, you are the one who takes you there. You are the one who takes you there. Nobody else, nobody else will take you there but yourself. So he means that you are your only true friend. You are your only true friend. So I am my only true friend you know if i don't help myself it's very unlikely that other people will help me you know so i need to help myself i am in charge of my life you know i have my dreams therefore i have to make them come true because if i don't work hard nothing will happen i will not magically learn italian you know i'll need to do it myself i'll need to study hard if i don't work hard if i don't study hard nothing will happen my dreams will never come true. It's sad, but it's true. I'm responsible for my future and for my present because I am my life. So I have to open my eyes, stop complaining, and I need to do my work because nothing will magically happen. Things are not easy. It's sad, but it's true. I have to make my dreams come true myself. I'm responsible for that. 
I feel motivated like a true warrior now, you know. I'll end the video here in order to study because I really feel motivated to study a lot because I know that if I don't learn Italian, I, I can't blame anyone, I can't blame my work, I can't blame anybody else but myself. I need to make myself happy, you know. Life is short. I'm not entitled to be lazy, you know. I don't have time to be lazy. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, like our page on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. Please join our group on Telegram and practice your English with voice messages and text messages. If you sympathize with my channel, please become a patron. Just click on the first link in the description of the video and check the rewards and benefits you can get from becoming a patron. And today, please leave your comments. Your comments are the best, seriously. Please leave your comments, please, please, please. I love reading your comments and today I'm going to try to reply to all of them. Seriously, I'm going to try to reply to all of your comments. Well, thank you very much for everything and I'll see you next class.